Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So in this video, you are going to learn how to visualize the data using matplotlib library in Python. So without wasting any time, let's start this video. So let's start visualizing the data. So first we need a data set. So for data set, you can have your own data set or if you don't have your own data set, then for practice, I am suggesting you a website called Kaggle.com. It's a website where you can find different data sets. And if you want to contribute your, your own data set, so you can contribute your own data set to this website too. So I am using a data set of education class in which different students having marks in three subjects, maths, reading, writing, and I am going to visualize it. So we will do this data visualization on Jupyter Notebook. So if your system does not have Jupyter Notebook installed, then you can first install this Jupyter Notebook on your PC and you can refer this website to download the Jupyter and you can directly download and install in your PC. First, you have to install this Jupyter and once you install this Jupyter, then you, we can, we will good to go to visualize the data. And guys, if you if your system does not have Python installed, so you can refer my this video in which you can see how to install Python and Jupyter in your system. So first of all, for visualizing, start visualizing the data, we need to import a library called matplotlib.pyplot as plt. So matplotlib library is uh, imported by this line and I'm, I'm making a variable of matplotlib as plt. This is the reference variable, which is actually the matplotlib and we will use this matplotlib, li uh, matplotlib library using this variable. And now I'm importing this pandas as pd. This is another library in Python, which is used for, for data, different data structures. And uh, about this pandas, I will not talk, talk about in this video. For that, you need to uh, watch my another video in which I have uh, explained what, uh, what is actually a panda library in, li in Python is. So first we need to import these two libraries and I'm just uh, uh, I'm just uh, using shift plus enter I'm running this line of code. So there is no uh, no problem with this line. So it's uh, uh, it, uh, it is not showing me any error. And now now I'm making an, another variable that is df which is an uh, which is a data frame. And now uh, pd pd is what pd is panda. So panda is having a function called read csv. So I have already a data set called data.csv which you can see here data.csv is here and I am importing this data so that I can visualize on that data. Okay, now data frame dot drop uh, an a access is equal to one in place is equal to true df dot head. Now this df dot head will show me first five entries of my data. So let me just uh, run this line of codes. So you can see that uh, uh, from starting it will sh uh, it will uh, show me first five entries. So um, whatever uh, the data is uh, is present in my data or CSV, it will first like the data function is only for showing the starting five details. So this is the function of this line. Now uh, here um, what we are doing here uh, this is the plt dot plot. So plot is a function which is actually a line plot function which is present in this matplotlib library. So using this uh, reference variable plt, I am, uh, I am taking this uh, function and I am directly giving the uh, data 1, 3, 2, 4, 1 and showing you the line plot of matplotlib. So here you can see that uh, in starting uh, the data is 1, so my point is here and then 3, then my point is here. So this is the line plot look like. Now you can see the another plot of matplotlib that is a scatter plot. So using this plt dot scatter x and y, x and y are the two uh, two axes in this scatter plot, and I am taking this uh, df df column name math score and df column name write score, which is here, math column math score and writing score. So I am making this math score as my x axis and and writing score as my y axis. So uh, and plt dot show is uh, is for for showing this data. Okay, for showing this uh, um, graph. So whenever I click this shift enter, so it will run. And now you can see that 
uh, x is re x axis is representing the math score and y y is representing the writing score so this is how scatter plot look like now the next one is histogram so histogram uh, uh, is used for only one one column okay so i am using the reading score column of uh, of my data set that is here and uh, using this histogram i am showing you the details okay so whenever you uh, whenever you don't write this code pld.show so it will also show you the details of that uh, that particular uh, column or the particular data data column but if you write this show line so it will not show you this uh, this de details of uh, the whatever column you are plotting but it will just show you the graph now next plotting is box plot so box plot is uh, only for single or you can take more than one blocks as well but now currently i'm using that only one column that is writing score and uh, writing score and whenever you click this shift enter it will show you the box plot and this is how the box plot look like now next is uh, adding labels and titles so uh, you can add labels and titles in your graph as well so here you can see i'm using scatter plot and i'm giving two axes that is x and y and taking two column in x i'm taking math score and in y i'm taking writing score and there's a, another attribute in scatter plot that is color and you can use uh, like uh, you can take yeah, your own color whatever you like yes, and now i'm changing this color and now you can just write this x label x label is the function for uh, for labeling the x axis and y label is uh, the function for labeling the y axis and i'm giving the x label as the score in math and score in writing and this is the title function of plt which is used for giving the title to the graph and now whenever i click this shift enter so you can see that uh, my uh, my this is how my graph look like now you can see that all my points or dots are uh, are co co planar with each other and now the data is not good to visualize all the data is uh, is crossing each other so so for that you can write this line of code figure pl dot figure and you, this is the x axis and this is y and i'm i'm stretching this uh, graph so i'm stretching by giving this x as 16 and y is 7 and uh, this is the same code and whenever i am clicking this enter so you can see now now we can see the data more clearly like the x axis is stretched now okay and this is the another one and in this you can see that plt dot figure is 10 6 and i am i am taking two scatter plots and uh, one scatter plot is uh, color is yellow and another one is red that is the by default by python and you can change it as well like giving by color color is equal to red and here color is equal to green so now you can see that color is now changed and this is for representing the, the, the red color representing this math score and writing score and the green color is representing the math score and reading score now the another one is is the alpha function alpha function is used for visibility of uh, of these dots now by default the visibility of these dots is one and now i am just decreasing the visibility of these two lines so whenever i am giving this 0 0.5 that means half times it decreases the visibility of the dots so whenever i just run this so you can see now my dots are not as visible as before so you can change it accordingly like if you want to if you don't want if you if you want your dots light so you can just give alpha alpha value accordingly now the next one is is just labeling you can direct label your your um, scatter plot here as well so whenever you whenever you uh, run this these line of codes so this is how your graph look like so i am just giving this label is comparison of math and writing score so now you can see it is also showing me that the blue blue dots are for maths and writing and the orange dots are for for math and reading and alpha value is 0 0.5 and plt dot legend is using for this if you don't write this plt dot legend it will not show you these uh, these legends 
so this is all about this video and uh, in this video i'll show i showed you uh, some fl functions of matplotlib if you like this video just give this video a big thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel and thank you so much for watching this video